Hi, I'm Archie Ruggles Bryce. I run the Spain's Hall Estate, and we are delighted to be home to the first beaver pair in East Anglia. The project is designed all around natural flood management. So this is working with natural processes to try and slow the water on the estate and stop it going into people's homes in our village of Finchingpool. The beavers are one really important part of that, but also on the other side of it, we've got natural flood management, man-made style, so we've got piles of logs in ditches. All of this is designed to just slow the water that's coming off the estate during times of high flow. But brilliantly, the beavers also capture the water in times of high flow and then keep it here, releasing it slowly over time. So they create a completely different habitat. So it'd be really interesting to see when we go out and see what the wetlands look like now. So this is one of the biggest dams that the beavers have made. They've been adding to this for months and months and months. And you can see they start building using sticks that they've cut down or collected from around about the wetland. But they don't just stop there, they don't just make a pile of sticks. They actually excavate mud and they pack it into the holes, making sure that there no water can get through, as you can see here. So the beavers have been fantastically busy. So we're, they're just 18 months in, but every week for the first few months that they were here, they've built a new dam. Starting really small ones and getting up to some really large ones like this over here. So it's not just us on the estate who are doing this project. We've partnered up with the Environment Agency who are interested from a flood perspective, but also from an environmental and biodiversity perspective in supporting people like us and supporting this project to try and grow the evidence base and understand what's going on. We've got the Essex Wildlife Trust who are on board for obvious reasons. They really love the wildlife and they're helping us chart what's in here, what was here before, but also the impact that the beavers have. Um, and they are also brilliantly going out and surveying all the dams so we understand what the beavers are building, where, where the wetlands are expanding to. And finally, we've got the Essex and Suffolk Rivers Trust, who are another charity who have got expertise in catchment management, so how the water moves across the landscape. And that's really important to understand that what we're doing here fits into a wider picture. Since those three partners came on board and we all got together and made this project happen, we've been inundated with offers of help from others. So King's College London, from exa for example, the university and researchers from the geography department have come in and deployed a load of low cost sensors that they've developed to capture information on what the water is doing. So what high, height is the water? Where is it flowing? How does it respond to rainfall? And they're publishing all this information online, freely available. Another partner we've got is catchment scientists from Atkins, the big consultancy, and they're looking at the hydraulics, um, uh, uh, how the water moves across the landscape and how the water moves within the beaver enclosure.
And then we've got a huge number of really keen um, volunteers. So we've got people counting the number of birds and identifying what we've got in here. We've got people looking at the invertebrates, so the small bugs and beasties, both in the water and on the land. Um, and then we've got moth surveyors and bat surveyors, and loads of people that are bringing loads of really important information to the project.